almost everything in this room is exactly as it was when Huber went off to fight in World War I. On the desk here, people have largely forgotten now who these people are in the photographs, but new discoveries are still being made. The current owner of this house found these English cigarettes among Hubert's possessions, and along with them, this tin of tobacco neatly rolled into cigarettes. He says he tried to smoke one. It wasn't very nice, he said, but you can still smell the tobacco in them. Just next to the cigarettes here is a file of earth. This is earth from Flanders, where Hubert was killed during the fighting. He was just 22 when he died, and the fact that he was so young, like so many of his comrades in that war, is really brought home to you in this room. The bookcase here is full of books that would be more at home in a French schoolroom, not an adult's bedroom. This grammar book, for example, really belongs to a child. And on the bed here, you can see just how young some of his comrades were when they died from these memorial cards laid out on the bed here. Hubert was actually born in this room, but the house has changed hands many times since then. Its current owner is Mr. Favre. The way I put it, I live in his room, but not with him. He was a young officer, and I imagine he was quite provincial, probably narrow-minded. I find the bed very touching. It's a child's bed so small and intimate. There's now an agreement that goes along with the deeds to this house, stipulating that the owner must keep this room exactly as it is for 500 years. Now, Mr. Favre says he's not sure whether that will happen. It's not a legal agreement, but we've asked his granddaughter, and she says she's up for it. <laughs> 